ein. I believe, I hope. You never know South African internet. You never know. But we are back. Yes, load. So we just finished the first mission. Thank you, L. Always spooks me. This game, when it loads into a game, it tabs out to the to back to the men to the desktop, and then it loads. It. There we go. So we have. Um, what was I going to say? Right, we have completed the first mission with Garrett. It's not much, but it's home. And now we need, I believe, our objectives. Go see your fence, Heartless Perry, in Black Alley, and sell him the Bloodline Opal. Oh, look, you can practice lock here. Any? What the? Oh, there we go. Hmm. I can't use the practice lock? Okay. Strange. <laughs> oh no. Don't, okay. There we go. Man has a little bit of everything for practicing your tools of the trade as a thief. Forgot to adjust the sensitivity. Hmm. Excuse me while I quickly save and then go back to the main menu and adjust the sensitivity. Hmm. Oh, sensitivity? Is it here somewhere? Music volume. I didn't even know this game had music volume. Don't tell me it doesn't have mouse sensitivity. It's gonna be here somewhere. Okay. Game doesn't have mouse sensitivity. Well, sucks to be me. We'll just have to deal. That's fine. I have no problem with that. Man, it's using your native. So just go change the settings on Windows. Hell no, that's too much effort. I'll just That's one suck track. It up. Okay. It's not much, but it's home. Oh, it's just you. At first I thought somebody had broken in or something. Well, good evening. How can I relax with taffas like that around? The landlord, huh? Well, let's go get our paycheck from our helpful landlord. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, this is a tough one. Ooh, let's close. He's gonna come around here and ask me, what the hell am I doing? <coughs> I'm not gonna blackjack my own guard. That's just bad for business. Ah, well. Leave the landlord alone. He's protecting me after all. Alright. Did we get that portrait of Mortimer the Mad? I think we did. Yes, we did. We did. We did. We totally did. We can go and sell all that wonderful loot. Thief. Deadly shot. Ah, the city. Obey the law, and there's no need to worry about the residents. The city watch so the guys said, who want to lock me read. up, though. And so he said, keep my eye out the for whole them. place under Quora, uh, Quora, um, quarantine. Oh, no. <laughs> Same thing happened to me. I can read so I could see for myself. I asked why, but the city watch wouldn't give me the time of day. 
What do you think? Some kind of plague? That's what I thought. But then I was talking to Jesse down over the tavern and he says that some kind of ship come into the docks. Something wrong with it. The quarantine is so that... And this is Jesse who said it, so take it for what it's worth. That otherwise the undead would be everywhere. This sounds all too familiar. Everywhere? I, I wonder if Natalie is okay. She lives over in the docks near the Bloody Ears Tavern. I know. And Grace O'Malley, too. Mind you, Jesse could be wrong. Sure, he's been wrong before. That's, that's right. Everything's probably all right. Yeah, the city watch is just being careful. Doing this quarantine thing is a precautionary type step. Yeah. There we go. Quarantine. Sure, we've all heard those words. Hey, buddy. That's a really nice watch you have. Can I have it? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Thank you. Can't kill the bug. Interesting. Or I just suck at aiming. Well then. Look at this guy with his strange hair. Those are City Watch. You can tell by their insignia. They're the guys I have to look out for. Hello, buddy. <laughs> hey, you know what you did? Well, I do, and you're in big trouble! Thought I saw something. Sure, you saw nothing. Memory serves me correctly. There's a secret down here. Well then, let's look forward to it. What's over here? getting somewhere. Okay. That made less sense than I expected. Okay then. Architecture bothers me on so many levels. Who would build a building like this? I need to get past that gate somehow. Excuse me. Excuse you. Casually running around with a blackjack, you know, no problem. Man, Garrett, you certainly have grown to be ugly. Huh? Oh no! What a travesty. I know, it's a shame.
Bingo. Don't mind if I do. My place. Down. Okay, we know where the well is, so we're somewhere down here. We need to turn around, take a left, go past the market. Okay. Right next to prison. All right. Yeah, I remember that this eagle sign means or that's the prison, I think. Hmm. This might be a guard post of some kind. What just moved? Well, take a left, past the market stall, that asshole. He's drunk, look at him. This is Black Alley. The red handprint is the mark of illegal ah, establishments. Sir. Welcome. Is this your first time visiting us? Take well, that's easy I for have him no money to say. So. Him with his fancy suit. <sighs> Sorry. Your money is mine now. Garrett. Taff. Didn't expect to see you. Haven't you heard? Lady Elizabeth from Rutherford Castle is after you. She was in here with some goons, asking a bunch of questions about that opal. They did a job on me. See the bruises? Had to give them a name. I guess before I knew that I'd given them yours. Which is the truth, ain't it? Anyway, uh, I'd watch your back, eh, pal? Uh, about the opal. No way I can risk taking it now, but... I know someone who can. A fence in Stone Market. Black Market Bertha. If I were you, I'd go to Stone Market to see her now, before those goons find you. A anyway, I can still give you cash for whatever other loot you stole from the castle. Business as usual. And uh, no hard feelings, eh, Garrett? I mean, uh, who's the one all beaten up? <laughs> yeah, all right, Heartless Perry. No wonder he's called Heartless. Hmm. That could come in handy. I don't remember what you use money for in this game other than to buy equipment. Ah, sir. Welcome. Is this your first time visiting us? Take your time. Peruse. Enjoy. Shopping should never be a rushed experience. These makers are expensive. Wow. We hope you find everything you need. With this quarantine, we're cut off from our regular suppliers for a while. We hope you find everything you need. With this quarantine, we're cut off from our regular suppliers for a while. Got broadheads. Got water arrows. I need flash bombs. Could do with two more. You got money? Spend it. You'll be happy with your purchases, sir. You know where to find us if you're not. Thank you kindly. Well then. Let's go and Is there for a second? 
What's our next objective? Deal with Lady Elizabeth and her thugs so you can get into Stone Market. Sell the Bloodline Opal to Black Market Bertha. The fence in Stone Market proper. Hmm. Alrighty then. Stone Market is right next to my place, so... Hop, skip, and a jump. Ah, there's Lady Elizabeth and her goons. <laughs> Looks like Lady Elizabeth is here, with a couple of thugs. before he started spilling his guts. Couldn't wait to give us Garrett's name. It was my knife at his throat that made him talk, you taffer. Heartless Perry, huh? He wasn't so tough. I want to go back and rough him up some more. Shut up, you fools. The whole town can hear you. Beg pardon, Lady Elizabeth. <sighs> the money is ready. Don't dally. I haven't got all night. <laughs> Taff. <laughs> We wasn't being that loud. And if she's a noble, then I must be quite a gent. I'll be glad when this job is over. Let's go. Beating on Perry was fun, but it's the money that counts. And I don't want to give that witch time to change her mind. The money better be right. I'm bringing my knife, just in case. Hold on, you taffer. We can't go all at once. Who'd guard the gate? No, we gotta go up one at a time. That way the other two can keep a lookout for Garrett or anything suspicious. Make sure no one, and I do mean no one, gets through our barricade until the lady's opal is back in her hands. Else why would she pay, huh? All right, all right. Don't go all bossy on us. Aren't you just cute? <laughs> Look at this strong guy standing there like he means business. Doesn't he know huh? Garrett's? There it is again. Is. Yeah, it's the line of work. Was that again? It will be a silent thought. I, might... <gasps> uh -huh. I knew I'd find you. How's about a knuckle sandwich? <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. Ah. Blunder. Why me? What kind of coward are you anyway? I ain't never heard of anyone. Like me. Ah, forget it. Probably run off a while ago. I mean, it was the only smart thing to do. Hey there. Bugger off, will ya? Well, I've made it past Lady Elizabeth and her thugs, and now here I am in Stone Market. This district's known for commerce and corruption, with plenty of both for everybody. 
Most people come here for the stores, but I tend to do my shopping after everything is locked up for the night. There's the clock tower, one of the tallest buildings in the city, a good landmark day or night. And finally, the Stone Market Plaza. More vendors, more people. No doubt the City Watch will be keeping an eye out for pickpockets like me, though. Being a thief is never as easy as it sounds. Anyway, it's time for me to find this Bertha character and get rid of the Opal once and for all. I hope Perry was right about her. Big Bertha's place is marked on my map with the red hand and print. We came from South Quarter, I believe. Tavern to the right, St. Edgar's Church behind it. Good day, sir. Doesn't even say hi back. What an asshole. in the back of the head. This lock. elementary. It's actually a smart idea. Out of sight, out of mind. It's a guard post. This is not permanent. We're gonna have to reload. For a second, I thought I saw. <laughs> well, I guess it was just my imagination. <laughs> oh no. Hopefully, reloading will make a make a difference. Okay, there we go. Very good. Hmm. Again, I shouldn't have 
doubted myself. Nothing. Not even sure I saw anything anyway. You shouldn't have doubted yourself. This is a guard barracks. Sure. Just don't walk into the guards. Take your loot. You're being so rude to me. Hmm. I I Where'd it go? There. Did I drop it or what? That would have been clever. Where does this lead to? Is this the tavern? It's not marked proper. I think that's where we need to go. Yeah. What's up? Yeah, I can get all the loot first. Oh, you're wearing all black. Stone market proper. Here we go. I might adjust uh, the camera of for future the episodes. That's doers and chumps. Doers do everything and get everything. And chumps get done to and taken from. Simple as that. Like you never listened to my ideas. This guy's drunk. He's drunk. It can't have gone off by itself. Aha! I hear. What can I hear? What is I count something? There's a strange creature locked in the cell of Stone Market Proper who wishes to be freed. He has a map in the cell with him. Uh, Look for at me! Okay. Have to deal with this interloper first. That's right. Found oh, you. Come on, you John. You <laughs> did. <laughs> oh, for taffing out loud, my eyes. On end. Okay, they got mad at each other. That's. That... My hands are clean. <laughs> you step. You speak. I can't believe I just saw that. What did you think? You were gonna get the drop on me? Yes. Think again. Meagle just killed the damn dude. Garrett is one hell of a master thief. That guy didn't even see me, even though I was right in front of him. Must be really dark. All right. Silence lies, and what comes to count, that is nothing. 
Well, he is kind of a ninja. Not kind of. He is. Gravid has thank you, sneaky human. Gravid, go oh, not there. New map acquired. Oh. Well, we just let a monster loose in the city. Not our problem. <laughs> ah, yes. Wanted. At least, at least For he's theft pure and assault. Or monster. Reward offered. Hey, dirty bird. We're currently doing an episode of Thief. Hello, the guards. These oh mad my people. god. It's not my fault. Not my fault. Got nothing to do with me. Uh, Lady, you are where? Look at him. Probably heading to the pubs, just like they all do. Okay, for that comment, Ails. I'm stealing uh. everything. Thank you. No one appreciates what, what would they do without me. We got that. I feel like you had to wear a Crusader helmet for that. What the? Who are you? Sure are what you hiding for? One, aren't you? What's going on here? I sounded like that sound didn't happen by itself. like very serious music serious game believe it or not back in the day this was considered very serious atmosphere though it may be humorous today uh oh oh no bit of noise over there oh not again not again I have never encountered this before, but... Okay. We are now a ghost. You've <laughs> been playing too much fast, Kobe. <laughs> What is going on? They're going crazy. It's, it's cursed! Cursed! You became a ghost and now they're killing each other. Phasmophobia is haunting my game. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> we 
save and then we load. Hope that fixes that. Permanently soft locked. Loading typically fixes it. I mean, that's that's a strategy you can do. Where, okay, you go ghost mode, then you don't make footsteps. Who are you? What you hiding for? Wow, they really can't see you up there. Hmm. Look out! I must investigate what happened here. What? Uh -huh. Is that a fight? Yeah. Something moved? Bloody hell! You see that? I sh help! Someone's out on the street! Mm -mm. Leave me alone! Don't even think there! <gasps> this looks like a <gasps> fight! Her go! Fast. They can't tell who you are, so they're just killing I knew everyone. I'd find you. I saw what you did. There's people to deal with people. Oh my eyes! Bedla, everyone's gone crazy. No wonder there's a quarantine. This beats so dishonor many, like in so, so many, many ways. dead people. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Civilians have been killed. Everyone is just greedy after one guy like me. Good grief. Looky here. Blood. Wonder whose it is. Uh you just stepped over their body. Gee, I wonder. Somehow, some way, we found where we need to go. Hmm. Don't think I imagine it is. Okay. Garrett, I can't believe it's you in my store. Let me know if you need help finding anything. I'm Marla. Marla Madison. Used to be a thief myself. Maybe you heard of me? Or... Is that your waifu? Mm, but, oh, you probably just want to shop. I don't know. Girls and boys, he's she's clearly a fan. The hag's got one, the hag's got two, and now she's after you and you. Creepy enough. 
Well, yeah. looky, looky. You must be Garrett. Somehow, I expected somebody taller. Doesn't matter. I'm Black Market Bertha. Glad to meet you. Perry said to expect you. Said you'd have an opal for me. I'm sure we can do business. I got the best stonecutters in the city waiting to cut it up, as a matter of fact. All right, Black Market Bertha. Clearly you have an attitude with a face like that and cheekbones like that. Sure. Fair enough. Fair enough. Don't mind me while I sell all my ill-gotten uh, games. Is a, mm, this is a damn fine opal. One of a kind. I bet it came from one of those old noble houses. Am I right? Never mind. It ain't my business how you came to have it. Ooh, I almost forgot. Here, a gentleman left this letter for you. Don't you worry, I didn't read it. It ain't my business, is it? Okay, thank you, Black Market Bertha. Let's go check out this note. Okay, so where's the note? Always nice to see you, G. Oh, where's the note? You don't mind me calling you G, do you? Probably on loot. Or items. Doubt. Okay. And we really have. Oh, here we go. Garrett, we must speak with you. Tursus Courtyard in Stone Market Plaza. Keeper Artemis. Very well. Hi, Garrett. It's me, Marla. Hope you find what you need. She does have a lovely voice. You hear about that feller they found dead? Well, I say feller, but all that was left was some bones and a bit of gore. Mm, never mind. You don't want to hear that stuff. Okay, woman. That's a bit creepy. Think. Thanks for coming in. Stock up hey, these. Garrett. Hey, did you know? Oh, I'll just let you shop. I don't want to bother you, but you know anything about this quarantine? I'm scared it's the plague or something. Maybe worse, they say. Maybe it's zombies. Oh, I just hate to think. Okay, whatever your name is, Marla. I can't believe you did this. You're gonna... <gasps> I found you. Get that ready to... Keep away! Oh, fuck. Okay. Looks like Garrett is just the devil. Everywhere I go, I seed chaos. <laughs> I don't have to do anything. It just happens. I'm just passing no, by. He's and it happens. Yeah, but like. Never mind. Everybody's going crazy because you're taking all their shit. I guess so. They're like, oh, you stole this. Oh, you stole this. Oh, you stole this. I'm gonna kill you. And then they kill each other? Well, they don't know who took it. You're an ass. That's what you get. Ooh. What do you mean, the guard? Tursus Courtyard. Okay, so... No, that was the noise oh. that he made. Oh. When he died. He didn't die, a blackjack him. He's not dead. He's just unconscious. Not you again. Oh. Alright, Taffer. I know you're here. Somewhere. I'm coming to get you. Okay, buddy. Sure. You can keep believing that. Just gonna 
where I need to go. I'm in no uh, hurry. It's me. It's I ain't got you. nothing better to do than yeah. find your hiding yeah, place right. and then smack you around. Mr. Thief at your service. McFarley said you had a job for me. Brent, is it? Indeed I do. I am... Um, about this. Um, what? Ain't gonna What's be wrong? Me. I'll tell you that nothing, much. Nothing. I, I just thought you looked different. That's all. It's, it's nothing. Hey, I'm the greatest thief that ever lived. I ain't concerned about appearances. Anyway, with all that thieving I do, I ain't got time for no baths or nothing. Oh, I see, yeah, completely understandable. Enough said, yeah. Anyway, let me tell you why I wanted to meet with you, Garrett. Yeah, get on with it. I, I got a lot of job offers, you know. You ain't the only merchant in town to uppity and get his own hands a bit dirty. Oh, of course. The object in question is of little monetary value, but has great sentimental meaning to me. It's the Orin Cross Dagger. You've probably heard of it. A stylish golden number, and it's currently out of its owner's hands, being scheduled for repairs at Cosmo's Armory. Uh, the Orin, uh, the, the Golden Dagger, eh? Sure, I heard of it. I'm Garrett, ain't I? Except it sounds plenty valuable Someone's to me. impersonating Well, me. it's not. The money I'll pay you to get it will be twice what it's worth. Anyway, it's one of a kind. You'd be hard-pressed to find a fence and manage it for you. All right, all right. Go on. As I said, it's being kept at Coffrin's Armory, in the basement safe. That's where you come in, Garrett. As a master thief, you should have no trouble with it. Once you get it, put it in the donations box outside that Hammerite place, St. Edgar's. I'll leave the payment in the same box once I have the dagger. I think that about covers it. All right, Mr. Brent. And don't forget, if you want Garrett-type services, you gotta offer Garrett-type prices. So that's the famous Garrett, huh? I guess he's not as good-looking as I'd heard. deal with this guy for someone like me. Ah, oh, there he is. Though I says it's called respect, Fleming. <coughs> Ooh, the taff? What is it? I'm calling the Can guards you on you. Oh boy! Sound was... like somebody. Aha! You taffer! You. You've had it! Someone help me! Oh! That's right! Ah, run! See how much that will help you in here! Get away! Ah, you did. Uh, I know no, someone's crazy. there! I saw what you did. Now you'll get it! Something while this bedlam is going on. These civilians need to calm down, please. This is not good for my health. <laughs> what? All I wanted to do is just blackjack the guy who was pretending to be me. That's not a crime. He was committing. what you call it? Fraud. He deserved it. And then I got an arrow in the back for it. Okay, just... I ain't gonna look no more. That Taffer's long gone. Didn't have the guts to fight me. It's not worth it. How do you even get there? I'm pretty sure Hecoba was that guy. He looked ugly enough from the back. He sounded the same, too. Ah, forget it. Going to be a long shift if I jump at every little thing.
cryptic notes, secret meetings. Haven't you keepers outgrown this stuff yet? It was not our intention to be cryptic. What was your intention? Don't I have friends on the Keeper Council anymore? More than you know. Garrett, may I speak? Sure. Talk. The Keeper Council has agreed to allow you access to the prophecies as they are read by our interpreter, Keeper Kataka. Well, that's Keeper talk for something bad has happened and now we want your help. Right? But there is something they require of you first. Go on. Two objects, one with the Hammerites, the other with the Pagans. They are unusual. We wish to study them further. We need you to acquire them for us. You mean steal them? Are you sure these are the only hoops your Keeper friends need me to jump through before I'm allowed to hear the prophecies? It's true that through this you will have proven that you are trustworthy. None of this is... My choice. I'll get you the trinkets. You just make sure your Keeper buddies come through on their end of the bargain. I will. Garrett? Garrett. Garrett, these are the objects you must require. The Chalice, a relic from the Hammerites. It is kept in St. Edgar's Church in the Stone Market proper. The Jack Null's Paw, a possession of the Pagans. They have constructed secret tunnels beneath the South Quarter Well. We believe the Paw to be there somewhere. Meet back in Terrace Courtyard in two nights. I have faith in your abilities. Keeper Artemis. Ah, oh, ah, ah, this, this will be right short with and help. sweet. You won't get far. Right. New restrictions. Hmm. Objective. Steal the chalice from St. Edgar's Church. Used South Quarter Well. Notes. A thug has been hired to steal a valuable dagger from... Cothran's Armory tonight. He will be paid if it drops into the donation box outside of St. Edgar's Church. There is a strange door. We did that. Restrictions. You are working for the Keepers now. Don't attack them or get caught doing anything that will cause them to attack you. Fair enough. Job's a job. First of all, let's get to Cothran's Armory. Where the hell is that even? Kershock Citadel. I don't even know what this means, but all right. Where's the armory? Am I blind? We'll just have to go and look for it. The hunt begins for Cothran's armory. Yikes. On the prow. Did I see something? You did not. No, oh, nothing there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey, I know someone's there. Ah! Run for it! You've nothing to gain by hiding, you Ruin, know. welcome. Although it's a little bit belated. Salute. Who's there? <laughs> Hope it's nobody. Yes, it's nobody. Hello? Whoa. Uh, okay. I've, I've no money, if that's what you... Watch it! You could have hurt me! now. I just even know I'm there. Come on, go! Don't try anything. I can take care of myself. What? 
watch it! You could have hurt me! Why are you following me? I don't know what's going on anymore. Tavern closed after dark. Okay. Thieves, master thief skills. I'm sorry, buddy, but Wait. you're gonna have to take a dirt nap. Guy's gonna have back problems when he wakes up. We looked enough. Ain't nothing here. Carry on. That's not worth it. <laughs> well, we're in the tavern now. Nothing. What are you talking about? <laughs> there you is. I'm gonna enjoy this. That's right. Run. See how much that'll help you. Ain't no place to run to, Taffer. Good to see you. Get hey, lost. You can't be ah, here. How did the you find should me? know about this. Pull yourself to what keeps care? doing that? Somebody causing trouble. Oh, please! Ah, just the wind. These Quit people... You're running, damn you! Nope. There, got you, Taffer. Ha! <laughs> Too much for you. Because I don't want to murder you. We're gonna go to South Quarter. Hopefully the armory's there. Coffrin's Armory. Bedlam in the streets. Everyone's gone crazy. Everyone wants Garrett's head. All I did was steal some lunch money. I gotta eat too. He's still unconscious. Cawthron's armory. Was that? Huh? Uh huh. You. I'll get you this time. No, you won't. Lady Elizabeth. You bitch. You sent those guys after me. <sighs> well, tomorrow you can wake up with a nice headache. What you get. This time I'm merciful. Next time, on the other hand. If you don't come out right, stupid Taffer, thought you could hide forever, didn't you? Yes. I'll catch you, and when I do, it's curtains for you. I'm 
I'm gonna find you, Taffer, sooner or later. Here. Stumps me. I really want to find this Cawthron's armory. Where could it be? This bra. I'm gonna get the watch! Go for it. Be my guest. as well cause absolute mayhem. There may be a fat bonus in it for me anyways. Oh there god, you found you me! Are. Let's see what you're made of! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ah. No! No! Hey oh. Oh, Hello? Oh, I mean, please don't kill me! I'm a thief, not a murderer. Aha! Wasting these. All through this armory, it's it's gotta be. Black market, maybe? place is one gigantic maze. The, where, where's the armory, though? All I know is I saw something, and I won't feel right until I check around. <laughs> yeah, you definitely won't be feeling right. Now. Plaza. Let's go check that again. Maybe it's somewhere there. I don't know. I really want to raid that armory for that dagger. The golden dagger. Time to face me, Taffer. Let's try old quarter. Make your deal. If you come out now, I'll kill you quick and clean. Hey, back off. You want a knuckle sandwich? <clears throat> no, but you're gonna get one. Sandwich. You're rude. Where is this towards? Old quarter? No. It's a way to old quarter. Oh, I see. We need to go. I think it's in the old quarter. We'll find out soon enough. It's probably there. Most likely. Uh, 
They made a lot happen in that small area. These guys really are not happy with me. What happens if I did this? I knew I'd find you, and now- ah! What? what? Where, where is everything? Ouch! Oh, God, blind it! Don't kill me. I'll no, see you there. Everyone... You're gonna be in big trouble when I get back with some help. What the happened here? All these dead people. That was a crab, not a cockroach. That's not a crab, nor a cockroach. But, just reward. I sure hope the murderer has left. I'm sure he is. In fact, um, uh... Unconscious. Where's that sweet loot you dropped? Ah. <laughs> uh. Where do you get to old quarter? Okay, so black market alley, old quarters, and north of it. Okay. If only we could see the clock tower. They gave you a map to the armory. Ails. Uh, uh, yes, you thought you could get away, didn't you? You're finished, Tara. <gasps> Stay back. I'm not armed. Can you tell me what happened? No. I have no idea what happened. I'm unarmed. Uh oh. Oh, that's somebody else. What the hell? Still there, huh? What the Don't fuck? Worry. Aha! What you is there? Going on? Run while you can. We're executing each other in the streets. Too much for you. No, no, it's Bedlam. Howard, stop this instant! <laughs> Holy shit! <sighs> that's a beetle, not a cockroach, not a anything else. It's a beetle. Pretty sure that's a beetle. <gasps> no! How did you find me? Woman, I mean you no harm. I didn't even have the intention of stealing from you. Okay. Black man. This is black. Okay, well. Behind St. Ed and Gert's church. Old quarter should be this way. Ah. No passing. Old Quarter is in quarantine. Okay. Now that there it goes again. Maybe you have to go to the secret hideout and go out a different way. No, there's only one way out of your hideout. What's this place? Anything non... Probably for later. Never mind. Nothing to worry about. This is a shop. This could be it. This could just be it. Aha! What 
what's going on. You, haven't you had enough? Right, run! See how much that'll help you. Come back here and fight me! Wah! <laughs> Stay back! Don't hurt me! That's him! <laughs> Burning. Go, kill each other. It's one way to take care of the guard. I have a feeling this is it. This has got to be it. Is this the tavern? been here before. Is there a basement? What is this house? Found you! Now stand and I guess that's why you have two entrances to a house. This isn't it. Really? Hmm. Gothrin's Armory! Bingo! Hey Panzer, can you move your portrait to the top right? Um, yes and no. I'll do that for the next episode. For now, it would take a little bit of a, a lot of effort to move a lot of things. So for now, I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Is that a person in this? In this? In the top of that door? What do you mean? It looks like there's our hand sticking out of it. No. Oh. But we have the dagger, so we need to get to Saint Edgar's Church because we need to go and steal the chalice. It's black alley. Did I see? Actually. 
Garrett. Mm. What is it about you? Guess I just like the quiet type. And me being a chatterbox and all. Thanks for coming in. Hey, Garrett. Hey, did you know... Oh, I'll just let you shop. Thank you. Aha! Aha! Caught ya! You'll be Who's sorry. that there? <gasps> oh, it's the mayor! St. Edgar's Church. This is where the Hammerite fanatics keep the chalice, a so-called holy relic. It's what the keepers are asking me to steal, if I want to see their prophecies for myself. The chalice might not be worth much on the street, but every hammer church has a nice pile of wealth stashed away. No reason not to fill my pockets while I'm here. This particular temple holds the crypt of some long-ago Hammerite hero, Saint Edgar. Today was his holy day, so there's an all-night service. That might work in my favor if they're all sitting down praying, instead of looking for sinners to smite. Chances are they'll have anything they think is holy locked up pretty tight. I'll have to make sure they don't do the same to me. I'm not interested in the Hammerite brand of justice. Where's that? Ow! No! What the? to know where that donation box is so I can put the dagger in there. Woman, you are you are trying my patience. You're one sorry excuse for a taffer, you know that? Come on out, you coward. I guess that taffer escaped. I looked everywhere. Anyway, I sure could use a beer. about this like reasonable folk should check the door too oh that's it I give up there ain't nobody here but I was so sure I hear it again, I don't know. Back to work. Nothing. As usual. 
dead. <laughs> One less taffer is how I look at it. What's with the hide? You some kind of coward? people doing here ah! stay back oh please Wait. i know someone's there do you think i'm stupid Get it. I just don't. Like I get time to check every square inch of the place. That's what I to call the Who's hiding there? Problem. Do I know you? Solver. Don't St. Edgar's Church. This is where So we begin. In other words, think about Steampunk Mechanicus. That is the Hammerites. Oh yeah. Here we go. Let's start stealing this chalice. Uh, this is pretty dark. I have trouble seeing myself. That means our enemies. Well, okay, he's just patrol patrolling. He's just doing his job. There's, there's no reason to cause him harm. What are we going to do here, though? Aha! <laughs> An entryway. That's locked. There is a very, very dark staircase here.
builder, grant me thy strength for my arm, to smite thy enemies in thy name and for thy purpose. Builder, grant me protection from the evil of the trickster, from the malice of those who would follow him in their dark forest. So shall the master builder keep and watch over us. So shall his forge scorch the unrighteous and burn away all that which is impure and of the earth. So shall his blessed servant, Saint Edgar, serve as the messenger to his power. Praise to thee, Lord Builder, and praise to thee, Saint Edgar, thou who didst drink from the chalice and cleanse the land of unworthy in thy righteousness. As thou hast directed, Master Forger Gretus, mine brethren shall summon thee as they retire from their works. Tis well, but make sure tis done in a timely fashion. Last month, several brethren sounded the bell far too late in the eve. If I spy any brother late at his work, shalt I then tell him he needs must receive thy blessing and tarry no longer? Glory of Saint Edgar. It was the dawning of the last day of battle, and Saint Edgar did it see that his forces had but a few men left, hale and unwounded. Then didst he kneel before the chalice, and didst give entreaty to the builder to gift him with death to his foes, or his own death. If it be thy will that the foe fall, grant me thy strength to seek victory for thee. If it be thy that the foe overcome, give me death by thy will now, for the foe shall not have it. Then he supped from the chalice, and didst light and glory fill his limbs and the foe fell as winter before the spring. And Saint Edgar gave praise to the builder, and did its he walk amongst the wounded and captured enemy, and did its he give them sup from the chalice, and they were consumed utterly by the fire of the builder's forge, and the dead were beyond counting. That Saint Edgar shalt be praise above praise, and gloried above glory. Was his visage graven and sculpt in purest gold, that all who saw it shouldest also know the glory of that day, and the value of his deeds. Sounds like a prick. Walked around a camp and poisoned a bunch of captured and injured enemies. What an asshole. On this St. Edgar's night, let the flame burn with... Brothers, High Priest Gradus doth keep the holy symbol now in his chambers. The holy symbol of the Master Forger hath the imprint of the Builder's grace direct from blessed Saint Edgar. Tis the mark of leadership, and hath many other uses. Pray for he who shoulders this person burden, High Priest Gradus. Hi, Franca. Let us see you. Let the Builder cleanse my soul. As he cleansed the land this night. Ich spiele Thief. Dark Project. De Deadly Shadows? Hmm. Wie sagt man das in Deutsch? Ich habe vergessen. Deadly, deadly. Hmm. Todliche, todliche Schatten. Ja, das stimmt. Todliche Schatten.
Oh, vielen Dank, Herr Franke. Ja, ich bin halb deutsch. Nur halb deutsch. Und das ist wirklich ein Schade. All brethren must receive the blessing of the high priest Gradus before morning. When thou seekest thy blessing, summon Gradus with the chapel bell, until thy own flesh is purified. Speak not to Gradus with thine own tongue, but use instead the iron tongue of the bell, forged and purified in flame, to speak for thee. All right, so we should just... Oh. Ring the bell then. One less asshole to deal with. These guys are really pompous. Wait, you're telling me this door was here all... Oh, I couldn't open it from this side. Of course. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He does. Look here, tis quite open. Again, just then. Oh, it vexes me. it be? And where? Ah, tis nothing. Let us spend no further worry on it. May thy next blow strike home. That's a Zelch song. That is very strange. Let's see what Greedus has been up to. Holy symbol. High Priest Greedus. Praise be, thou and Brother Roland have secured the chalice in the factory. I hath destroyed the stamped gear as instructed. Another canst be made in the stamping machine. But e'en a stamped gear is not without a thy holy symbol to open the cage. Both must be used to activate the mechanism. Thus, while the symbol rests in thy chambers, surely our relics cannot be safer. Brother Thorgrim. Master Forger Gradus. Twice in the span of this week hath I spied Brother Reginald pass by the statue of St. Edgar, without pause to offer prayer or thanksgiving, so that he may achieve penitence with toil in the builder's name I have sent him to work a doubled shift at the factory. I trust this has thy blessing. I have also a matter of doctrine for thee. Knownst thou the smaller effigy of Saint Edgar that the Lady Warwick have bestowed upon us? Does this artifact also require the recitation of the prayer? Wilt the value of the object compensate for the lack of the size? I shall secure it near my bed in the bunk room till I hear back from thee. Brother Lo Roland. Hmm. More loot. Yum yum. Bing. Bonk. Bing bing. Bonk. Cat o' nine tails. High Priest Gradus. Thou hast served tirelessly these twenty years to impart thy wisdom to the world. 
Indeed, there has been no initiate to leave St. Edgar's without the mark of thine own particular brand of teaching, blazoned in the stripes upon their backs. In recognition thereof, this token a jeweled cat o' nine tails. Carry it ever with thee as needs. Must thou use it often. Brother Imbril, Partus, Mendes, and Raphael. Was that a... Was that a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reference? Oh, oh no. This is better. Okay, this, this is better. Don't bother me and I won't bother you. Be like your friend. Let's sleep here. We did us take another pagan today. The wretch had no dignity. His screams did us summon forth a crowd of gawking onlookers as he as he was carried inside. But I did us note the flower peddler nearby that she showed not vacant curiosity, but more an intent concern. I shalt have her taken and put to the question in the next sweep. Mine thoughts turn again upon the prisoners. Tis proper they be put to work, but can still be proper to work them past the point of honest effort. That they die of the labor and rise as the accursed undead, Still, had they been faithful, it would never have, it would never have come to such a pass. If the master child and teacher right. not have trouble, these assholes like to make people work to the death and then they rise as zombies. No, no, I cannot no find now what I can find the coal. The furnace shall go out. Oh, 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 oh. Fanatics. Now I don't want to read the book. I want to open the chest. Thank you. Very good. Abstaubendlicht. Hmm. What do we have here? A gas bomb. I suppose a large knockout gas. Precious. Brother Partis, I have gleaned what information I could about these volumes. Homilies of the Jeremites, Illustrated, Priory of the Forge. Glendower volume, Missing in Carras's Upheavals. Glory of St. Edgar, Damaged but Legible. Codex of the Admonitions, a gold-bound and valuable text stored in the prayer room on the west side of the church top floor. Loot. Very good. Very good. Do we have a map? West side. All right. We are in the barracks. Builder, let my hand strike true. Builder in the work Look I faith. do. Faith. Ah! Oh, oh, sneak hey! about. My HP. Oh, 
That's better. Do recover. Oh, mein Gott, verdammt, die Leiche mit. Hath thou heard? Master Forger Greedus hath called to all the Master Forgers of the Church that he shall drink from the Builder's Chalice. Tis madness! The Chalice hath been barred for these past fifty years, since Master Forger Alibus didst drink and did burn unto death. Tis the Master Forger's wish to call upon all other Master hey! Forgers to drink as well. Oh, tis an intruder in the atrium! show himself both brave and righteous. Goblin. Coward! Stop thy flight! It's dangerous to bring no, the chalice forth. I will not. As the means by which so many pagans died, they should yes. well like to destroy it. Uh, the goal for tonight is to steal uh, the chalice. And play this game in over 20 years. As we did in St. Edgar's time. My memory is very hazy, but it's coming back to me. Speaking of which, I need a drink. I think twas nothing after all. Achoo. Perhaps my ears do trick me. Can't I help? <sighs> Tis nothing to see. stream a bunch of things, Gavilan. I do as I please. All that I do is I wish to share some of this wonderful experiences along with all of you. courtyard. We need to get to the church bell and ring it. Condemned man spake a 
upon his day of execution to the brethren. I am innocent. Do not cut off my head on this day. The wise brother tested the man, saying, If thou art innocent, thou canst say thy soul to rights by reciting the builder's holy prayer. Fearful, the condemned man spake, But I am too afraid to remember. I cannot. The wise brother replied, Fear never visits the innocent man. Even if thou art innocent of crime, thou art surely guilty of heresy. A righteous death shall cleanse thee of sin. So was the condemned man's head cleft from his body, and was innocence visited upon him that day. Addicts, a lot of them. This damn church bell. Builder, lead me against the dark towards the light. Fire of the forge, water of the chalice, hammer of the god. Yeah, I'm sorry, friend. <sighs> Might be a thematic, but I'm also not a murderer. thief-like to make such a racket. I hope once is enough to drag the old priest out of his room. I better get out of here before someone starts wondering who rang the bell. That's quiet. Charles acquire the unstamped gear in the factory, then stamp it using the stamping machine. Use the room and go to the church to bestow his blessing. Where is this room, though? Ah, goodness grief. Nope, this is the courtyard. That's not where I want to go. I have robbed that place clean. So rob the church clean. I must be missing something somewhere. Hmm.
And so did the son come unto his father, and saith, Woe unto me, for I have nothing to eat. Father, give me that which I need. And so did its his father give him an iron chisel, and saith he, Go into the world, and builder grant thee the fruits of thy labor. The next day did the son come to unto his father, and saith, Woe unto me, for I cannot with this chisel. Father, give me which I need. And the father did it give him a hammer of fine wood and metal, and saith he, Go into the world, and builder grant thee the fruits of thy labor. And so did the son return, and saith he, Woe unto me, for I cannot eat these, I cannot use these to catch fish or gather crops. Father, give me that which I need. And the father did it, cleave the begging hand from his son, and saith he, The builder hath granted thee fruits of thy labor, for which is not. Okay. Very backwards religion. Long in this world. Oot. Anything else interesting here? No. Hmm. Must be a higher. Staircase that leads even higher. I have to keep looking. All right, we've bet we've checked both wings. Oh, good grief. On this St. Edgar's night, let the flame burn without ceasing. He cleansed the land this night. I rang the bell. Oh. Mine ears verily do hear something. Of course I do. There was a master thief right in front of you, you fool. Okay, here's the church bell. No staircase here. What is this? Why do I have a feeling? Nothing happened. something? Must be. I don't remember what... Did I see rightly? You did not. You did not see a master Was there right aught to see? Yes, there was aught to see. I'm sure there... there I, I get the feeling I must be going to a higher floor. From the view of the beam, tis all... Builder, lead me against the dark towards the light. Fire of the forge, water of the chalice, hammer of the god. A little lost. Just a little bit. I'm biscuit. Just I'm biscuit. Just a little bit lost. Maybe I should start praying to the builder. to the barracks. We need to get to the west courtyard. They say there is a way through the church there. I don't believe them. It's locked by a portcullis. Let the builder cleanse my soul as he cleansed the land this night. <sighs> Taketh the plow of the path less traveled. 
Not the plaf, but the path. <clears throat> Bingo. Didst thou see? Inspector Drept was at service earlier. Tis the holy day of St. Edgar. Doth it surprise you? Twould be a greater shame to stand missing. Thou speakest sense, but more and more rare doth he come amongst us. His time is spent out in the city. The inspector seeketh out sinners and criminals. He canst not do that among our brethren. For who such wouldst he find here? Ah, <laughs> tis true. Under St. Edgar's night, but let the flame burn sad. without ceasing. But one of our brethren is such a stranger. Wouldst that he pursue his side. prayers with such fervor as he pursues his investigation. When he doth pursue the wicked, he bringeth the justice of the builder to the city. But I would that he would set aside his obsession. This talk of a hag is but children's rhymes and nonsense. Sorry, buddy. Well, actually, I'm not sorry because you all are. Builder, lead me against the dark towards the light. Fire fanatics. of the forge. What? <laughs> yeah, he'll lead you sore headache in the morning. Tis that? Hey! What? It's folly to interrupt my work. Under Hello? Under St. Edgar's night, let the flame burn without ceasing. Let the builder cleanse my soul as he cleanses the land this night. Tis around here somewhere. Whatever it was, is well gone now. Give me that sweet fine loot. And I can't pick it up. Why? There we go. A note. All brethren must receive the blessing of High Priest Greatest before... Oh, we read this before. On this St. Edgar's night, let the flame burn without ceasing. Factory. But I doubt that's where we need to go. Well, we are in the East Wing. Hmm. We need to find the High Priest's room. How to get there? It's the highest part of this church, I think, if I remember correctly. He who measureth the worth of his life by counting. His Let's check the eastern courtyard. Well, yes. Don't worry, buddy. Might be a crazed fanatic, but I have no reason to beat you into slumber now. This leads to the barracks. That's pointless. That leads out of the barracks. That's also pointless. I must be missing some hallway somewhere. I did see. Hello? Nothing. Hmm. Perhaps tis not nothing. Most certainly is. Master Thief just ghosted past you. Nothing to be worried about. Well, the old reverend shall come to harm. Well, they might wake up in the morning with a serious headache, but that's about it. It has to be one of these hallways. I doubt it. That's the church bell. Now, where is his room is the real question. I think this leads to the barracks. Out the precepts and canst not be done with a single reading. <sighs> did I hear her right? No, you did not. Oh, this is a frustrating. These old games of their strange maze puzzles. Okay, church bells that way. That. 
room. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> uh, no, that's not... Dude, this... Okay, this is where we entered, of course. Um... Pyromancer, welcome for joining us. Uh, yes. We're trying to steal the chalice for tonight. But in order to do that, I need to find High Priest Gradus's... Am I just being... I'm an idiot. It's in the barracks! Of course! Of course! Wait, I was there already. I... I... We already did this! Oh my goodness. Um, right, I am a righteous idiot. Absolutely. Well, we have the Han stamped holy symbol. We just need to stamp it. All the searching for something we have already had. Good grief. Saw nothing, nothing at all, and we are heading to the factory. Whoa. What a mess. Why dost thou labor away so late into the night upon the night of St. Edgar? Shouldst not thou be at prayer? Wouldst that I might, but more of our brethren doth arrive, and Roland doth instruct me that machines must be ready for their use. Brother Roland doth ask too much. I see him not working beside thee at thy task. Tis true, yet our most blessed Saint Edgar didst not earn his glory in meditation or rest. As we follow his example, we earn our place in the Builder's plan. It is the same for me. I walk these halls with naught but the hymns of the Builder to keep me company. All that is metal is not of the Builder alone, as all that is wood is not of the Trickster alone. Wood canst be shaped and carved, so that it serveth as part of the great house for the Master Builder. Even iron canst serve contrary to its nature, for the glory and service of false gods. If thou doubtest these words, turn thine eyes only to the ruin of Soulforge, where the Builder himself smote down the workings of the heretic Karas and his wicked crafts. Nope. Hey, you nope. Come forth, whoever thou be. I don't want to. How about that? I hear not now. That will give me some leeway. Twas only in my mind, surely. Buddy, have a good <sighs> night.
since we've read this. Wait, that's new. Brethren, be all the reprim reminded, none may use the stamping machine, save they are permitted by Chief Worker Roland. Shouldst thou have permission, thou mayest obtain an unstamped gear from the storage area, but be sure to place the objects squarely in the center of the machine, and be wary of the sparks and shards when the machine doth activate. Alrighty. Do we have a map to the storage area? We kind of don't. Let's do the south, I guess. What sound dust come? Crematorium. Okay. shall be a reckoning. <laughs> Inspector Drep's notes. Mine investigation in truth continues space into years long gone. More deaths have I learned of that fit the pattern. The city guards can for naught beyond the tips of their noses. So no connection didst they see. In a death thirty years past, the skin of the victim was destroyed or removed. Another case was six years later, and the report says only that the body was mutilated. Though it does not note, a bent and aged woman was seen nearby. Well, at least they're rooting out cultists. I don't know what's worse, fanatics or cultists. Brother Roland, praise be thou and high priest Gradus, hath secured the chalice in the factory. I have destroyed the stamped gear as thou instructed. Oh, we've read this before. So we fall, and they can also compendium of precepts, regimens, and rules of conduct. The chisel is but not, save thou hast a hammer. The hammer is not, save thou stretch forth thine arm. The arm is but not, save for thy will to serve the builder. If the builder takes thy coin. Dost thou renounce his work to beg on the street? If the builder crushes the walls that guard thee, dost thou flee to sleep in the rain? If the builder slays thine offspring, dost thou slay thyself? 
God not that which thou hast made for thyself, more than the faith that burns in thy heart. I'm guessing. Mm. Lunatics. A lot of them. Stamped gear. Oh, this is the storage room. Oh, well, there we go. Who has made that noise? <laughs> Who has made what? You unconscious? Me. That is the stamping machine. Behind this builder. What's over here? Reliquary. Ooh. Mind if I do? Can't get over. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Request gotten Pache. Corpse is certainly annoying. Well, he's unconscious. Let's let's not turn into a murderer now. We can just have a nice enjoyment in the cell. There we go. All right. Oh, sparks coming. Do remember them saying this. From whence thou gain came. To receive thy just reward. Mind me stepping over you. I must go to the reliquary. Go. is it? Sorry, friend, but I want to make this hmm? quick. <laughs> so 
so doth the thief sneak in the night, stoleth the chalice. As the Hammerites are in complete fright. Hmm. Fantastic. Hope it opens from Ah. Very good. Just <laughs> Yes. I don't know how I treat Now that, that I have the chalice, I'm one step closer to the books in the Keeper Library. Those prophecies had better be worth the trouble. My little raid isn't going to endear me to the hammers. As we wait for this loading. Excuse me. Well, that concludes episode two, The Theft of the Chalice. Ladies and gentlemen, I will be ending the stream here now. However, I will be back online after a short lunch break. And we will be continue streaming one of two things. Um, the usual course of action is Mech Warrior, but I might have something interesting in store for you all tonight. So, in 20 minutes, I will return. I hope you all have enjoyed episode two of Let's Play Thief. Totlicher Schatten.